So in this video, we will try to understand some more methods of a string class, and we have a method called you know get uh, cares. So this get cares method is mainly used to you know copy uh, uh, I mean the character from one array to another array, which we will see with the example. And the syntax is public void get cares. Here you have int scr begins, which means the begin index where you are going to start. Then you have an end index where you are going to end, and then uh, you have the destination array, and then you you know you have destination begin. So this is like you know source begin, source end, then character the the destinations where you want to copy, and then destinations begin like from where you want to copy. Let me show you this method here in the Eclipse. So uh, what happens is we make a class. Make a main method, sorry, and when I write here as a string s1 is equal to let's say test, and when I say s1 dot uh, get cat, so this is the method you have, right? This guy, uh, this method. So here you have begin, source, end destinations and destinations begin right see it here again so let me not yeah this one so you have here be, uh, begin and character destinations and destinations begin right so you have this method get characters now we need to understand this method line by line what happens is the scr begin means index of the first character in the string to copy like the first character which you are going to copy into this destinations character array the scr end means index after the last character in the string to copy like the last character which you are going to copy in this character array destinations of array uh, uh, destinations array of characters in which the characters from a string gets copied so you have a string from that string you you are going to copy into this destinations array okay the destinations begin means when you have a destinations array which means uh, the array will have the index 0 1 2 3 4 so from which index you want to copy into the destinations array this is the meaning of that the destinations begin means the index in the array starting from where the characters will be pushed into the array like in this dest destinations array from where you want to push from 0 or 1 or 2 or 3 so this guy will tell you from where you want to begin now it throws index out of bound exceptions if any of the following conditions occur so what happens is if any you know of uh, out of four conditions if any one conditions will come you will get index out of bound the first one is if source begin less than 0 right uh, and the source begin greater than source end you will get array index out of bound both the conditions again the source end index if like you are saying that you copy from 0 to 9 but your uh, array length is character array length is only 5 so even in that case you will get you know array index out of bound or uh, the destinations begin whatever you have you are saying that you copy in my array and start from minus 1 even in that case you will get array, array index out of bound and again if the destinations begin like you are saying that copy the data in this uh, destinations character array and begin from 10 but this character array length is only 5 so even in that case you will get you know array index out of bound exceptions now look at the example you have this string uh, object we are creating this uh, array of size 6 okay we are creating one array uh, object of size 6 now we have a method called you know str dot get character 10 comma 16 array comma 0 what does it mean by that 10 comma 16 array comma 0 what does it mean by that which means get the index start from 0 till 16 and copy into this array where array index will start from 0 okay so 
टेन कॉमा सिक्सटीन तो लाइक वन जीरो वन टू थ्री स्पेस फाइव सिक्स सेवन स्पेस एट नाइन स्पेस टेन सो इट विल कॉपी फ्रॉम एस इलेवन ट्वेल्व थर्टीन फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन सिक्सटीन सो फुल दिस स्ट्रिंग विल गेट कॉपीड वन बाय वन इनटू दिस एरे ओके स्ट्रिंग विल गेट कॉपीड इन दिस एरे बिकॉज वी आर स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम जीरो राइट एंड नाउ वेन इट गेट कॉपीड when you try to run a for each loop on that particular array for each loop you are not writing print ln because i want the data to be printed in the same line right so you can see that the string will get printed here because a string you copied same thing happens when you have let's say this is the character array so you have already a data in your character array here you created the character array of size 6 so there was no data here it was blank but here you have the data already in your character array and you are saying that the same thing you are doing that copy 10 comma 16 array comma 2 2 means you copy the data from 10 to 16 in my array array 2 in this array but start from index 2 so your data will copy from this is 0 this is 1 comma 2 so your data will copy from here okay data will get copied from here and when you uh, once it is copied in this character array when you run a for each loop you can get the data so if you look at here the first array data was a string which we had it here the array data here was a string which i have told you right this a string will get copied here uh, 10 to 16 and in the array start from 0 but in in this case the output will be bb and then 10 comma 16 means a string so it will be you know second array data is the bb string because already this bb data was there so when you copy 10 comma 16 start from 2 means start from here so this guy will get replaced with a string so second array data is the bb string so that's how you know uh, this get characters uh, works now another method we'll try to understand index of very important method always we use index of method returns the index of given character value or substring if it is not found it will return minus 1 the index counter starts from 0 right if it is found you will get some positive number if not you will get a minus number the syntax is int index of int character c so let's say you want to check the index of the character into the given string uh, if it is found you will get positive if not you will get a negative right here int index of character int from index so there are you know different different methods here you have actually so uh, you have different kind of method where you can say that you know get me the index of character you can say that int of character and int of form index right so it returns the index of first occurrence if the character ch is starting from the specified index right from index so when you say int index of int ch comma int from index so you are saying that 0 to 5 so it will give you the first occurrence of that character right similarly when you say index of a string str it returns the a string str in the particular string it will return the index when you say give me the uh, index of this particular string into a given string it will give you the ind uh, index of that again you have index of str and from index so again particular string you want to search but you are saying that you search after fifth index so you have a very big string from that string you want to search some data and you have a conditions you start searching after index number 15 so you can go for this method now try to see with the uh, example this is the parameters is equal to character value single character okay parameter can be uh, single value it can be uh, i mean it's a single value it can be string also from index index positions from where index of character value or substring is returned and the substring to be searched in the string okay that's what you want to search let's see here you have four string object okay you have a class you have a main method and you have four string object str 1 2 3 and 4 now the first one when you say index of b in str 1 str dot index of b right so 
what is the index of d in the given string str1 actually we are looking for d after 15 index so here uh, what we are doing that here is in this first case we are just looking for index right in second printout we have index of d in str after the 15th character so you want the index of uh, b after the 15th character so you can do that plus str dot index of in single quote you can write a b comma 15 so when you say 15 means i want the index of b after the character 15 okay similarly i want the index of b after character 30 I like after 30 index i want the data after 30 index i want the data so you can see that b comma 30 then you have this string you have this str2 also right two string you have you can see it here right now you write here str dot index of str1 i mean str1 dot index of str2 means in this string you are you are trying to check this string in str1 you are trying to check str2 this is also perfectly fine you can do index of similarly you can do str dot index of str2 comma 15 so what does mean by that you are saying that in my first string you look for a string second but you start the index from 15 so after 15th index you try to check my string second in the string first after the index 15 similarly str dot index of str3 we have this str3 so in this string i am looking for a string str3 similarly in the first string i am looking for str4 in this first i am looking for str4 which is nothing but a strings and in the first string i am looking for str dot index of each so when i say index of each i am looking for this each index so there is a lot of each index which we are looking for now look at the output here right again index of hard coded string after the fourth character so when you say from str one dot index of each after fourth index so when you say uh, get me the index of each from a given string but i want after index number four so you can go for comma four look at the output here index of b is equal to 10 because it is a found index of b in str after 15th character minus one minus one means it is not found because in this string after 15th character there is no b so you'll get a minus one right similarly index of b after 13th character you'll get a minus one now index of str2 in str1 is equal to 10 10 means some positive number okay here this one this one this guy so you are looking for a string 2 in a string 1 so if it is a found if it is found here see bhanu is found here bhnu right you will get some positive number right similarly str2 the string 2 in str1 after 15th character not found you will get minus 1 again str3 you are looking into str1 so this str3 you are looking in str1 so what is str3 it is a string and you have here a string right here you have a string so you will get a positive number similarly str4 is equal to minus 1 it is not present hard coded data str2 is equal to 2 here you are looking for hard coded the str1 dot index of each so the first index is 2 well, uh, because it's found so you'll get a 2 now index of hard coded uh, this one each after fourth index after fourth index also you'll get 5 so you are getting that you know 5 uh, the index of you are getting that 5 so if you look at here after the fourth index so 0 one two three four is the space and each is the fifth index here right that is the reason you are getting that fifth similarly here str2 in str1 so the str2 which was uh, 
एस टी आर इंडेक्स ऑफ एस टी आर टू सो द एस टी आर टू इज भानु एंड एस टी आर वन इज दिस गाई दिस दिस इज द भानु सिंह स्ट्रिंग टिटोरियल सो जीरो वन टू थ्री स्पेस फोर फाइव सिक्स स्पेस सेवन एट स्पेस नाइन एंड देन ऑन टेंथ पोजिशन यू हैव भानु सो यू विल गेट टेंथ ईयर दैट इज द रीजन यू आर गेटिंग ईयर टेंथ Similarly, this string, right? Str three. So Str three, what you have? Str three, which is a string. So till here, Bhanu was ten. So eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and it is starting from fifteen. So index you will get as a fifteen, right? You are getting index here as a fifteen. So that's how you know uh, index of words. Now what is intern? So intern method returns the intern the string. It returns the canonical representations of strings it can be used to return the string from pool memory from constant pool it is created by using new keyword so this is the syntax public string intern returns intern the string example uh, we have a class example one we have a main method in the main method we are creating the object of a string so this guy will get created into the non constant pool and we are creating one more object of a string by using a string literal so this guy will get created into the uh, non uh, i mean const this guy will get created into the constant pool because we are using a string literal this guy will get created into the non constant pool so when we say s3 is equal to s1 dot in turn so when we say s3 is equal to s1 dot in turn returns the string from the pool now it will be same as s2 so when we make s3 is equal to s1 dot in turn basically it will get the data from the pool okay uh, the bhanu because if you try to remember when you create the string object by using new operator object will get created into the heap area but the string literal will be into the constant pool so when you say in turn this s3 will point to the constant pool and when you uh, check here s1 is equal to is equal to s2 you will get here false because this object into the heap area this is into the string constant pool but when you say s2 is equal to is equal to s3 because we know that equal equal operator will check for the object reference right so here when we say s3 s2 is equal to is equal to s3 you will get true because s2 is pointing into the string constant pool whereas s3 is also pointing to the A string constant pool because it is pointing to the same literal data bhanu so here you will get true and that's how intern work so intern basically it will make a copy of your object actually if you look at the string object is empty name itself says that if a string is empty return true else return false here uh, we have a class main method a string s1 is equal to uh, double quote blank s2 is equal to bhanu so when you say here s1 dot is empty you will get true here is empty you will get false self explanatory method now join method join method uh, returns a string joined with a given uh, delimiter so actually you can join your string by using delimiter okay and uh, this is the syntax this is the de uh, delimiter with which you want to join all the string and this is your character set Two argument. One is delimiter. One is character set. Look at the example here. See, a string is the class. Join is the static method. So I can directly call uh, from a string. I can directly call the static join method. And in double quote, I am writing that you know power. Bhanu, comma Pratap, comma Singh. So it will take multiple argument. Whenever you have character sequence triple dot in Java, which means this argument will take multiple data. it will take more than one argument that is the reason i am able to supply here multiple argument in the join method whenever you have this more than one dot it means multiple argument so when i say join this power with bhanu pratap singh you know your output will be like this after bhanu this uh, power will get added and then pratap then again power will get added so this delimiter what happens is it will join all the strings with the given delimiter similarly look at here here uh, you know you have a list right here just try to understand this you will understand better in the collection framework here just try to grasp the uh, 
the knowledge when you say arrays dot as list actually you have a class main method inside the main method we have arrays dot as list and we have this list Bhanu Pratap Singh right this will this guy will return you the list of a string because it's a list of data and when you say string dot join in double quote when you write like this and you, when you supply this list so what this list has Bhanu Pratap Singh right and when you print the names these names after join method calling join method your output will be like this Bhanu Pipe Pratap Pipe Singh so whatever delimiter you have your string will get joined so your outcome will be Bhanu hyphen Pratap hyphen Singh last index of very important the last index of it is like same it will work same like index of but here it will check for the last index of like the last occurrence of your index so method returns the last index of given character value or substring if it is not found it returns minus 1 the index count starts from 0 so here last index of it will take character again here it will take uh, int character in from index it will take a string and it will take a string and then you know from index you can read the descriptions also so that you know you will understand better now we have a package we have a class main method we have a string Manu Pratap Singh and s2 is equal to Singh so when I say last index of so it will get the last index of the data from this string s1 here I am printing it okay similarly when you say last index of s but after second index right so you are looking for in the string s1 you are looking for last index of s2 but after second index which means after 0 1 2 so after a you are looking for after a you are looking for s right similarly the last index of s2 so s2 is a sing so this is the last index of sing it will match here now the last index of s2 so the s2 is sing comma 10 which means you look for uh, sing after the 10th index of after the 10th index of s1 so uh, like after here so after this you look for sing so like from beginning till 10th index you don't look for sing after the 10th index you look for the last index of right so here you will output get 13 here here you are getting 13 the last index of you will get 13 because 0 1 2 3 4 space 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 space 13 and i mean here you are getting that last index is equal to s after 13 positions you are getting that s similarly s after the second positions last index of uh, here right so the last index of after uh, second positions right uh, okay so sorry here i i told in the wrong way in case of last index of and when you supply here 2 means you look for the s before second index see when we were discussing about index of there we have to check after after second index but in case of last index before second index so before second index you don't have any s here right so you get a negative number so here guys here instead of second looking for after second index you look for before second index here also before tenth index that is the reason you will get here negative number right because before tenth index you don't have sing you have sing only after tenth index before tenth you don't have so that is the reason you have 13 minus 1 and again you have a 13 this guy uh, you will get as 13 uh, here the index of s2 s2 is sing since comes as a 13 so you will get a 13 and again you will get a minus 1 because you are looking for sing before tenth index so before 10th index you don't have sing here so you will get minus 1 and that's how you know last index of works now length method very simple method it will basically returns the length of the string so what happens is let's say you have a class main method you have this string and you have this s2 so when you say s1 dot length and s2 dot length this will basically will give you the length of a given string and if you look at the output the output will be 11 5 
So look, uh, the length will actually count the number of character present in the string. So it will be like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. Right. So it, it will start from, uh, it will start from actually uh, 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11 yeah it's a 11 so length is 11 again 1 2 3 4 5 sing is 5 so length is 5 so actually it will give you the total number of character present into the string so when you make uh, on any string reference it will make dot length it will give you the total length of the string okay and here it will not start from 0 it will start from 1 so length is always a start from 1 that is the reason S i and G h you are getting that 5 if it will start from 0 you will get 4 but you are getting 5 which means it will start from 1 so length will give you the length of the given string with this I will close this video in next video we will see some more methods of a string class thank you guys thank you for watching this